Hello everyone, once again welcome to PM Networking. Guys, today in this video, I am going to make you understand how to configure, how to actually inspect ICMP traffic on Cisco ASA. Actually, as you know, by default, there are some pre-configured policy on firewall, right? But ICMP traffic are not allowed by default, right? By default, only TCP and UDP traffic are allowed on firewall so here i am going to show you how you can inspect icmp traffic okay so first of all see this topology guys here i this is my land network this is my trusted network this is my inside network this is my private network right and this is outside network this is public network right on the isp router i am running one loopback 8.8.8.8 and these machines should be able to ping 8.8.8 right these machines should be able to take tail net of this isp router just suppose i want to take tail net of isp router okay and by default as you know icmp traffic here is not allowed on this asa so we will configure uh, inspection as well for icmp traffic and then i will show you how these machines should be able to ping 8.8.8 okay and as you know here on this asa we need to configure nat we need to configure nat or pat but till now we have not discussed how to configure nat so that's why we will configure default route on this router actually we will perform a static routing right like uh, router one don't know about 8.8.8 so on router one i will configure one default route towards asa towards our firewall on firewall i will configure one route for 192.168.10.0 network this is my private network for, for private network right one default route otherwise you can configure nat then you no, don't need to define a static route here on the isp router as well we can do what we can uh, configure a, a static routing for this network right we can tell to isp router that whenever you need to go in this network 192.168.10.0 network just forward the traffic to ASA okay so guys without wasting our time let's begin the session first of all I am going to show you IP configuration on this PC so here you can see this PC have IP address 192.168.10.0 and default gateway is this one so let me ping default gateway am I able to ping my default gateway or not 192.168.10.100 so ping 192.168.10.100 so you can see i am able to ping my default gateway from pc from this pc and from pc number 5 also let me show you this pc can also ping their default gateway 192.168.10.100 okay now go to router number 1 where is router 1 yes this one is let me show you ip configuration of this router so show ip interface brief and exclude and assign here you can see i have configured ip on fast ethernet 0 slash 0 which is connected to firewall i have configured ip on f1 slash 0 which is my lan interface and i have created one loopback over here as well okay so i am not going to use this loopback so what we can do let me remove this loopback from here interface loopback one and say no ip address fine so ip root so let me check is there any default route available or not so you can see there is one default route 0.0.0, .0 towards 10.0.10.10 .10 .10. this is the ip address of asa which is connected to router 1 okay so there is one static route towards firewall fine now let me check configuration of firewall asa so here enable by default there is no any password so say hit enter enter so ip interface and you know how to check ip address on asa command will be so interface ip brief okay so i am not running ip address on any interfaces so first of all let me configure ip address on interfaces of asa so go to interface e0 then say no set and here i am going to define ip address 10.0.10.10.255.255.255.0 in the same way let me configure ip on ethernet 1 say no set 
and IP address is 10.0.20.10.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.255.
डिबग आई सी डिबग आई पी आई सी एम पी ओवर हेयर लेट मी इनेबल डिबग एंड लेट मी पिंग अगेन फ्रॉम द पी सी सो नाउ हियर यू कैन सी दिस मशीन इज रिप्लाइंग बट दिस मशीन डोंट हैव एनी रूट राइट सो हियर यू कैन से सोर्स बिल बी वॉट सोर्स इज वन नाइन डॉट वन सिक्स डॉट टेन डॉट वन सो दिस आई एस पी डॉटर नीड अ पाथ फॉर दिस नेटवर्क राइट सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू कन्फिगर वन स्टैटिक रूट गो टू ग्लोबल कॉन्फिग मोड एंड से आई पी रूट वन नाइनटी टू डॉट वन सिक्सटी एट डॉट टेन डॉट जीरो टू फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फाइव टू फाइव फाइव डॉट जीरो एंड हियर आई एम गोइंग टू से नेक्स्ट हॉप आई पी आर डी सीज टेन डॉट जीरो डॉट ट्वेंटी डॉट टेन फाइन नाउ कैन दिस मशीन पिंग कैन दिस मशीन पिंग टू दिस आई पी एड्रेस नो स्टिल दिस मशीन कैन नॉट पिंग बिकॉज ऑन ए एस ए फायर बॉल बाई डिफॉल्ट आई सी एम पी ट्रैफिक आर आई सी एम पी ट्रैफिक इज नॉट अलाउड इफ यू बिल चेक सो रन इफ यू बिल चेक रनिंग कन्फिग्रेशन ऑफ सिसको ए एस ए हियर यू कैन सी वेर इज पॉलिसीज लेट मी शो यू वट आर द प्री कन्फिगर्ड पॉलिसी अवेलेबल हेयर यू कैन सी इज दियर any entry for icmp traffic no by default it will allow only tcp and udp traffic like ftp okay these things right you can read over here but icmp traffic is not allowed so now here i am going to inspect icmp traffic okay for that what command we need to run so first of all we need to go in this mode let me copy this and where is my console let me paste it in config mode okay let me paste this command over here and now here we need to run which command here we need to run this command i have already run this one so policy map global policy so let me run this command as well then we need to run class inspection default okay and now i am going to define i am going to inspect icmp traffic so say icmp right now if you will check so run so running configuration here you can see in the policies here you can see now icmp is here configured on this router so now can pc1 ping 8.8.8 let me check where is my yes this one 8.8.8 so now yes you can see this machine is able to ping 8.8.8 let me enable telnet on isp router uh, just i want to check that this machine are able to take telnet access or not so what we can do what we can do go to isp router and here line vty suppose 04 and say suppose uh password is admin password is suppose root okay and say login local okay now let me define username and password here username is suppose admin and password is 12 password is suppose again root fine now let me check that this machine is able to access isp router or not because telnet is tcp traffic and by default tcp traffic is configured on router right on asa so that's why let me check telnet 8.8.8.8 okay bad command or let me tell take telnet access from router 1 from this router and source will be interface f1/0 enable say telnet 8.8.8.8 and source is here can we define source or not how we can define source over here uh 8.8.8 .8 .8. so directly it will not take because now it will use this ip address as a source 10.0.10.1 and there is no any root uh for this network in the isp routing table so here we need to define source as our 
inside interface as, as our private interface so telnet 8.8.8.8 and say source is nope so here let me check one more time what command I need to run here for the okay here you can see source interface fine so here I need to define source interface and source interface is fast ethernet 1 slash 0 so from this interface I am going to check that this machine is able to take telnet access of ISP router or not so see it's asking for password uh, username username is admin and password is root now you can see I have access of ISP router enable so there is no any enable password configure on ISP router so go to ISP router and let me enable let me set one enable password again enable password is root now let me run enable command here and this time password is root and so IP interface brief exclude and assign so you can see for taking telnet access we don't need to configure anything on Cisco ASA but for to ping we need to inject we need to configure ICMP infection traffic right we need to inspect ICMP traffic because by default TCP and UDP services are configured okay so as you know if you will purchase a new Cisco ASA router there will be some pre-configured policies right so uh, which type of pre-configured policy are there TCP and UDP okay so this is all about uh, how we can inspect ICMP traffic on Cisco SA this is very a small video and I am not going to discuss anything else in this video but in real time we will not configure like this in real time we will configure NAT over here so in upcoming video we will run how to configure NAT how to configure PAT on Cisco SA right multiple things fine so that's all for today guys if you like this video please hit on like button if you haven't subscribed this channel subscribe this channel we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye